So why should you have a concierge? And, and I'm reminded every time I, I talk about dentistry and compliance of when I started working at Veterinary Specialty Hospital, which is a huge uh, referral hospital here in San Diego. And I was you know, the first and so far only dentist to, to um, have a, a practice within there. And I was talking to the surgeon and the internist who were the main owners of it about coming in there. And I was talking to them about education and lecturing and this and that. And they kind of looked at me and they're like, Brooke, why do you write so much? Why do you lecture so much? And I said, well, guys, honestly, because 95% of, well, 99% of our patients walk in the door wagging their tail, eating and drinking and happy. When someone comes and sees a surgeon, that dog is limping or dying. When they see the internist, they're coughing, limping, dying, something. So the issue is we've got to do a good job educating clients, and that's a big thing. So we're going to talk about that. Discussing dental conditions is challenging because dentistry is different than internal medicine. Dude, dermatology, my dog's still scratching, my dog's still scratching. You know, of course they're going to come in. Or, you know, look at that big hot spot. You know, they see these things. They don't look in the mouth. So we've got to do a really good job and it's going to increase.